you can just sit there and go back to the truck. Checking out uh, what's it simulates setup, and he runs with two side panels rather than just the one. Which may be easier, at least for Farm Sim 19, since uh, the shift on the joystick doesn't work, so you can't get what would it be? Six axes of control. Forward, back, left, right, and then twist left, twist right. That's the all the actions I can map. With Farm Sim 17 you could map there's a shift button on the joystick which meant you could map alternate left, right, forward and back, and twist left, twist right. And that helped if you were using forestry cranes because you then had action, you know, and telehandlers as well. It's one of the reasons I don't use telehandlers a lot, is because extending the boom is not part of the primary um, joystick functions. So I can go, you know, up and down, and then you tip forward, tip back, and then the rotate left and right is usually... Uh, a grabbing action if you're using log forks or manure um, grabs and stuff like that and but yeah and even the bale grabbers the the ones with the tongs so you don't rip your silage uh, wrap but extending the boom I've got to reach out and use the mouse which is uh, Um, yeah, it's. I don't mind doing it. It's just that it's a hassle to have to reach out and find the mouse when it's fallen off the desk or whatever. Yeah, you know how it is. When I'm working, I've got the keyboard and mouse to hand. When I'm uh, playing farm sim, I've got the steering wheel and side panel to hand, and the keyboard keyboard and uh, mouse, I have to reach out for them. I'm actually doing okay with bales here as well. I didn't think we were picking that many. This looks like the second truck load now. Three and three more. I think I'm going to have to wait for that bale to drop. How's the harvester? Harvester's 50% full, 57. So uh, we definitely have time to get to the store. Try not to hit the uh, gate post on the way out, or the gate for that matter. hit the fence post instead. So we're making about 145 per bale. Oh no you don't. With 24 bales on the back. Is that about 3,500? Doesn't sound like a lot. OK, 
Okay, green tank 80% full, so we're going to have to do a jump back to the uh, organ wagon again. Okay. Has he stopped again? Nope, he's still going. He had to make a turn. Awesome. Hopefully we don't end up with the uh Valtry in the way. Oh, we end up with the Valtry in the way. Brilliant. <laughs> okay. in there. Probably be the last load of bales that we take to the uh, store today, since we'll then be onto the big field, which is uh, canola, and that's going to take us most of the day. stuck behind traffic and there's traffic coming the other way. Still traffic coming the other way. Take a chance. there is an AR system created by a modder called 5x9 on the uh, FarmSim19 mod, uh, in-game mod hub. But unfortunately all the trucks are a US style. So it's gonna look a little odd using trucks like that on a UK map. But, uh, let's see how that works out. I don't have an issue with using something like the hook lift system with a Scania or MAN truck and a set of trailers, but we are if we don't have the ability to run the AR system, I might need to uh, also include a semi and trailer, which is going to be a challenge. 
but you get semis and trailers on uh, driving around the UK so it's not actually unrealistic I'm just gonna have to buy you know, use shorter trailers so a little bit longer than this rig but the trailers are probably only going to be about 20 footers Got it. Back the other way and pick the one up at this end. I think in order to uh, in order to keep the accounting straight on monitoring the field sizes, as soon as we finish harvesting this, I'll make a note of the field size and number. I'll save and exit, and we'll come back in so everything all the all the uh, session stats get re reset for. Uh, the next set of fields. Unfortunately I didn't write down the information for field 26 which is that one back there but I do have the seed already on that so we'll uh, we'll get the results on that one from how much acreage that we've seeded in a session. Hoping I don't have to plow 28, 29, etc., etc., because that's going to take a long time. Oh, just noticed he's empty. So I guess we're going to go totally unrealistic here. I'm looking at completely the wrong thing. Harvesters over here. going to drive with the harvester to the end of the row so that uh, we get a more full uh, chaser bin. What's the other name for it? Grain cart. Honestly, don't know what the Brits call these things. From what I gather, predominantly chaser bin is what the Aussies call them. Most Americans seem to call them grain carts. As I said, I don't know the Brits use these on the field to unload the harvesters. What are we doing? I don't think we're going to fill this up. Going to be close. One thousand one hundred, and that'll be done. Should I say that might as well be done? Because uh, and again, we go around this way because that puts the uh, pipe on the right side. So, 
So again, messing with the angle on the auger is uh, a mouse action. Are we empty? No. Oh, is that full? Gee. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Oh, that complicates matters. That seriously complicates matters. Put the steering wheel where I can reach it. Okay, I probably have enough time to get this emptied, unless what I'm thinking is I didn't set up the uh, uh, what's it? The belt. be a problem. So that's about 230,000 litres of uh, barley pulled from this harvest so far. Capacity here for another, yeah, just not good. Of course, I don't have any tractors here, so we're going to have to use this one. Oops, I hit the barn. to be in that thing to work it. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, so, shorten that down. That's better. Doesn't have to be 
sticking in the air. Do that for now. Reverse it back into there. That's good enough. Jump out. Can put the chaser bit on the back. And then crash into the fence post because that's also an awesome plan. have to put the other thing there and then drop it to the ground. tip her out to this but it looks like I can't tip the auger out. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Well poop. actually tip a tipper onto the end of this uh, belt and it works. No, I'm going to have to get the other one. Let's see if I can get it out the easy way. This is costing us money. It's not going to work, is it? Because <laughs> we're picking up what we're dropping. Okay. it out here. Yep. Yay. Okay. So that's now empty. Ugh. Oh. 
So we tip the grain on the ground and have this thing suck it up. And then we have to hurry back to the harvester which is sitting there waiting for us. Close enough. It is now. Okay, jump out of that. 